Hello and welcome to Matrix Live. My guest today is Kim and who are you, Kim? Hello, Tip. Yes, uh, my name is Kim. Um, you might have seen me online in several Matrix rooms and Matrix GitHubs and uh, other places as well uh, under the name How Harlings. And uh, yes, I am an avid Matrix user, community member, I would say. Um, for almost six years or so, I think, I've been running my own, own home server. That's how I started. And uh, currently, I work at a German company called Nordec, which is specialized on matrix and open source for the public sector, um, where I do uh, software development, software architecture, and general matrix expert work, I would say. All right. And if you are here today, it's because you are a very active member of the Matrix community. Actually, the Matrix Foundation is blessed and the Matrix Protocol in general is blessed with a very active community. Um, Jan, you, Kim and others have been organizing several events. Uh, so there was the FOSDEM Fringe event last, last year. We're going to talk about that in a minute. There was the Matrix Community Summer, this, uh, well, this summer, the Matrix Community Summit. It was organized um, purely by the community and uh, uh, it, it was a frank success. There was a Matrix presence at the Chaos Communication Camp. Uh, communication Congress as well. Uh, you're going to be there in December, I believe. Yeah. And there was the Matrix Dev Room at Froscon. So all those events were huge successes and the foundation decided to step in and join forces with the vibrant community we have to support the effort and make sure that all the initiatives remain successful. Um, so the foundation will be at POSDEM in official capacity. Uh, at the official event, I would say, but also in the fringe event. So first of all, what is a fringe event at FOSDEM? Yes, that's a very good point. Um, so FOSDEM is perhaps the biggest open source conference in Europe happening each year. And um, this means that a lot of people get together in a single place for a weekend. and. Of course, that is a great opportunity to use also some more time with uh, all your community members uh, that you usually don't get to meet over the year or just over a video call like this. And um, yeah, actually sit together, do something together, talk about things, do workshops, uh, go to dinner uh, and so on. And FOSDEM calls these kinds of events fringe event because they happen in the fringe around the FOSDEM weekend itself. And in fact, uh, you can find out a little more about them if you just go to fosdem.org slash fringe. It should give you some information about it. Wonderful. So uh, FOSDEM is happening in Brussels every year. It's happening at Université Libre de Bruxelles. Uh, and the fringe events are happening around it. So it's not necessarily right around uh, the university, but it can be basically anywhere in Brussels. So for the Matrix Fringe event, uh, where is it going to happen? So you mentioned already that we started this last time, last mm -hmm. year, or well, this, this year to be more precise, last FOSDEM. Um, and uh, yeah, we were very lucky to be hosted by the local hackerspace, Hackerspace Brussels, um, who provided the location and lots of other infrastructure as well. Um, and uh, yes, we basically took over the hackerspace for one afternoon on the Friday uh, preceding FOSDEM itself uh, because we thought, hey, yeah, just basically the principle of a fringe event. Um, everybody is going to be already there because it's uh, almost impossible to arrive on Saturday in the morning. And uh, so it makes total sense to use Friday afternoon already. Let's go there, let's get together, let's get the Matrix community in a single place. And we had a wonderful time. And so this time around, we uh, want to continue this uh, very huge success. We had lots of people there and uh, we still feel uh, this is a very welcome opportunity. So we are planning it again, or we have been planning it again for uh, a month or so now, I think. And uh, yeah, very lucky to uh, today announce that it is indeed going to happen again and again on the Friday preceding uh, FOSDEM and also again in said hackerspace Brussels. All right, so going to happen on a Friday afternoon. I believe the event starts at 1 p.m. 
uh, local time? Uh, one... Yeah, more, more or less to be confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, details to be confirmed. So I'm going to leave a link in the description so people can find the hackerspace on the map and plan their uh, hotel and travel accordingly. Um, what can we expect to happen there? Is it going to be like a competing conference or what, what is it? Is it just about uh, chatting together, bonding together? Yes, a bit of everything. So uh, when we started it last year, um, we originally had this idea to make it a bar camp. Um, if you don't know this, uh, this term, it basically means you get together in a single place and uh, everybody can pitch some topics they want to know about or uh, they can provide knowledge about and uh, then you quickly make a ad hoc schedule and um, basically have a mini conference for the afternoon and uh, this worked okay uh, but also really uh, what's interesting is to have a lot of time uh, besides fostem itself where there's also a lot of program around everything and people want to watch talks and give talks and uh, do all this kind of stuff so uh, what's really nice is that this is also an opportunity to just be together in a single place and talk so yes we might have a, a partial formal program or half formal program uh, but certainly there will be lots of of opportunities to ex exchange ideas with everyone or even just meet all the people you usually don't get to meet in person right very cool so a sort of conference, but very informal with no call for paper. Uh, people can prepare slides if they want to present things. If they want. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm, I might be presenting something there. Uh, I think it should be good for the foundation to give more clarity on, on its roadmap, etc. cetera, um, because we won't have an opportunity to do that in the dev room. We wanted to make um, a lot of, um, of room for um, the community to talk at Forzem itself. So the Fringe event could be a good opportunity to do that. Um, all of that probably has a cost. Um, are there organizations sponsoring the event and are you looking for sponsors? So first of all, we are very lucky to be hosted by the hackerspace again. Um, but yes, uh, we would like, uh, similar as we managed to do last time, um, to be able to provide food and drinks for everybody. And uh, we already talked to a couple of potential sponsors so far, and we are, uh, I think, lucky um, that we can already announce that we have uh, one company sponsoring uh, the event um, and well <laughs> this is uh, uh, perhaps due to the short business way um, that I managed to convince uh, my boss to uh, help sponsor this event so Nordic is co-sponsoring but uh, we are definitely open and looking for more sponsors so if you are planning to come your company is planning to come your company can uh, contribute to this effort then it would be very welcome if you could uh, contact tip for uh, additional sponsoring of the event, uh, which will enable us to do more nice things. For example, uh, have uh, drinks for free for everyone for the whole afternoon. And uh, hopefully we can also feed everybody uh, in the end. All right, so yes, if uh, organizations are interested in sponsoring the event, uh, they can reach out to me, T-H-I- T-H-I-B, sorry, at matrix.org um, if you're into traditional email address or you can find me on, on Matrix. You should probably be looking in the rooms around and just click on my username and then reach out to me. Um, other than that, and yes, of course, uh, a big thanks to the Hackerspace uh, at Brussels for hosting us. Thank you very much. Uh, and thank you for the organizations uh, sponsoring the event itself. Other than the Fringe event, uh, there will be a, a presence at FOSDEM itself. So actually in two di different places, we're going to have a stand and we're going to have a dev room. Will we have an opportunity to see you at the stand? Of course, certainly, yes. Uh, so I'm naturally going to be at FOSDEM itself and uh, be looking forward to help out at the stand, meet everybody in the dev room, uh, see a couple of talks and have a good time all together. All right, uh, I will be coordinating the stand and the other volunteers. At the moment, we are like a dozen volunteers, so it's, the engagement is quite high. Uh, people are really excited to be at the stand and to talk about what they are doing on Matrix and how they are using Matrix. 
if you want to have uh, conversations with us, whether it's about Matrix, about the future of Matrix, about the organizations gravitating around the foundation and the protocol, um, feel free to join us at, at the booth. Uh, I don't know yet where the booth is going to be, but as soon as I know, we are going to publish that information on the Matrix blog. And other than the stand, we are going to have a dev room um, so basically at the university, we have a room uh, where we can have a sort of tiny conference within FOSDEM. Uh, it's going to be matrix centric, of course. This year we have nearly four hours uh, that was uh, allowed. Uh, we had to make choices for the schedule because we couldn't accept everybody uh, despite having super interesting talks. So we had to take decisions. Uh, community member MTR Nord, Help me to draft a schedule and let me find the schedule uh, if I can. It's going to be, so I have the room. It's going to be in room H1309 at the uh, University Libre de Bruxelles. Uh, and it's going to be on Sunday afternoon. I think I'm, I can share my screen probably. And it will be the easiest way. There we go. Um, so the dev room is going to start with uh, the Matrix State of the Union by Matthew Hodgson, who is going to tell you everything that's happening from a technical perspective uh, within the foundation. Then it will be followed by a talk by Travis Ralston, who is a member of the SCT and who is currently, so of the spec core team, and who is currently working on uh, Mimi, uh, which is basically trying to uh, come up with an interoperable uh, standard for instant messaging, uh, and it's in uh, it's happening at the IETF. Then we will have a talk about Let's Talk Matrix Between Governments and Citizens in Germany by Marco from Fitco. Uh, there is going to be another talk um, from the WordPress community about how they moved from Slack to Matrix. There is a talk by Nordec. Um, can you tell us more about this one, uh, actually, Kim? Yeah, I can tell you a bit. Um, as you can see, I'm not the one giving the talk this time, mm -hmm. but uh, four of my colleagues are. And uh, so at Nordex, we develop um, yeah a couple of different matrix-based applications. And um, perhaps most prominently so far, we have developed several uh, or a suite even of uh, several widgets that um, can work together. And uh, one of those widgets uh, we call NeoDateFix. It is a widget that allows you to schedule meetings on Matrix and it will create rooms uh, for each meeting um, that include uh, other widgets, for example, uh, um, a video call widget and a whiteboard widget, um, perhaps a poll widget if you need this, um, and so on. So yes, this uh, talk is going to go into a bit of detail uh, about this and especially also how to uh, solve this technically using Matrix as a technology. All right, thanks. Um, so this one, I think there is quite a bit of interest in, in uh, into organizing meetings on Matrix. This is something that should become part of the protocol at some point. Um, the next talk is going to be about Matrix RTC. So you might know uh, Element Call that we are using for this call right now. Um, and the underlying tech was worked on um, among others by Timo Kandra, um, who is doing that on behalf of the foundation. Um, so this was an interesting journey about moving away from peer-to-peer one-to-one calls uh, that historically existed in Matrix. Uh, towards um, using Matrix as a signaling uh, protocol um, for the calls. And the interesting thing about this talk is we had two talks initially. Um, Timo, who wanted to talk about the Matrix perspective and how it was implemented in Element Call. And we have Jayesh, uh, also known as TD Techno Disaster, who works on uh, Fluffy Chat, uh, who wanted to talk about the history of calls in Fluffy Chat, how they went from uh, one to one peer to peer calls to basically a, an element call compliant uh, uh, implementation in Fluffy Chat, and we decided to merge the two talks uh, together to see how, with the power of standards, those two solutions can talk together. Uh, and then to conclude the dev room, we're going to get the state of the Matrix Rust SDK by Benji, one of the members of the Rust team, 
um, at Element and one of the main uh, major contributors to the Rust SDK of the foundation. So the schedule is not necessarily definitive. It shouldn't move too much, uh, but as soon as I have the confirmation that it's definitive, I'm going to publish all the details on the blog, of course. Did we forget uh, anything, Kim? Yeah, I think we just uh, covered a lot of information in a very quick time. Um, so where can people read up on all of this in the future? So it's going to be on the Matrix blog. Uh, I think that's the best place. Um, and yeah, I'm going to release that as soon as all the information is final and definitive. All right. Great. I think it's time to wrap up then. I see you next week, Matrix Live. And thank you again, Kim, for co-organizing that. And to be honest, handling a lot of the bulk of the organization for the Fringe event. Thank you very much and see you around. See you at Fostam.